welcome to BC Place where we are under the roof for the HSBC Canada Sevens. Coming into Vancouver this weekend, it is New Zealand who are on top once more, but Argentina with a runners-up place in Los Angeles last week, sitting in second. There is a real battle on for the top four spots, plus down in that playoff zone. Spain, Kenya, Canada, boy, they need a big weekend here in Vancouver. Our men's pools this weekend and Paul A is a tough one. New Zealand, Samoa, Spain, USA, who had a difficult weekend last week. Paul B, Argentina and South Africa, France, Japan. Fiji, Great Britain, Uruguay and Kenya in Pool C. And Paul D, Australia, Ireland, the host nation, Canada, are joined by our invitational team at Chile. It's Paul Slater. They've let him go. And the Samoan playmaker will go in underneath the sticks. He makes it look very easy. Well done there by Slater to straighten up and cut through the line, but poor defence from the Spanish. And New Zealand continue with their momentum and form in this game. Roderick Solo has numbers on the left-hand side, and they put it down the chain. And it's Brady Rush, who was the star of the final last week, scores yet another for the All Black Sevens. Thomason. Still, crossover athlete, so powerful! And there you go, that's what he can do. David Still <laughs> is an absolute monster in midfield. He has their second. Advantage. Free kick, quick tap, Rockley Thaw into space. Gonna go all the way on his own. The Rocket Man is over and gives him a shove. That's gonna be a penalty. Shove in the back. They flip it wide. Woods Tazen. She's a man out wide on Mark. Shake so is Rafi into space. Shake so is Rafi <laughs> over the line. And that's just perseverance personified, Gareth. Says Wapi, the man, the captain. Duarte, there he is, lining it up. The wrong sideline for him, a right footed kicker. But he struck it fairly well. Is it going to challenge? The flags go up. Yeah, big smiles all around. Oh, yeah, baby. Former World Rugby Player of the Year running across the face. Now they get it wide. A looping pass. Good teamwork. Franco Rosetto benefits on the outside for Argentina. So there we go, who are the most successful team here in Canada, have it through Shilton van Veik. So is Wapi still on the field. Duarte, such a lovely balanced runner, gets a lot of footworks going, he slices through, Tricky Ricky gets the shiny shoes going. And the young gun starts off the second half for the Blitzbox in style. Duarte, an incredible solo effort and been a star performer for South Africa this, this season and had a crucial kick against the French to tie it up at full time. Ricardo Duarte, a schoolboy star at Stellenberg, played alongside former Blitzbock Angelo Davids. Quick tap from Argentina. Short ball, it's open. And guess who? Right down the middle. The power, the pace of Luciano Gonzalez one more time. Exactly the same mistake in the breakdown from France, just not supporting their body weight in the contact point. Coming up next, Fiji against Kenya. And there is the kicking game from Great Britain, no sweeper for Uruguay, so we might be looking at try number seven here for the Great Britain sevens, and Roddick will pick it up and dive under the posts. Freddie Roddick with the great individual try. I mean, GB had players queuing up to pick that up at the end. <laughs> he was wondering when he first kicked it, I think, whether someone else was going to run onto this ball. But it ends up bouncing right in front of him. He's got to call his own number and go the length himself. Nothing good. At 19-12. Oh, what a take it is! Matana off the restart. Oh, that set piece perfection from Fiji, just when you think you're in the game. By the Kenyan defence for now, still alive though. Here's Ross McCann, looks for the dish, finds Emery. 
And there you go. Just commit that defender, get the ball away, and it's a walk in for Tom Emery. Don't forget they're a player up as well. Ordao finds that free player now. Tomas Echeverry. Echeverry reaching for the corner. They're starting to celebrate at Uruguay. And his third try on the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series, but it's a vital one. With now Comerford, he's brought down. Canada were up to it for the moment. Vantage over. Vantage is over. Off and running is Brian Mullen. Brian Mullen flips it out wide. <laughs> Dylan O'Grady in on the sideline. Relentless pressure from Ireland. O'Grady gets the dock down. Well, it was a well-executed line-out that started that drive. And he can set off out of his own 22. Lancaster, who's on a hat trick, and here we go. Derby Lancaster looking for it to sit up. He'll play a bit of soccer, and he's looking for a triple here. Defense is coming back. He shrugs him off. And the 19 year old, before half time, has three tries. I mean, he has been Superman this match. Matt McDonald is there in support. Ireland up the tempo yet again for the line. Tom Roach will slide in, and again, it's more impact from this bench from Ireland. Well, they just respond so quickly on those quick taps. Looking to shut this one out and keep themselves alive in this pool. Jake Teal stepping through tackles. Offloads the ball to Cal Sager. He's got issue and with him. And the Mullet King will finish it off. For Canada! Let's take you through all the pools in the men's competition as they stand. New Zealand in control of Pool A. They're two from two, but the USA and Samoa still very much in contention. Remember, just the top two automatically qualify from each of the men's groups. Argentina, they're two from two in Pool B as well. But South Africa and France still very much alive. This one will go to the wire as well. Pool C, Great Britain, top their pool last week. They're on course to do it again. They're two from two. But Uruguay with a huge result earlier today, beating Fiji for the first time in Sevens World Series history. But this is the one that the hosts and the locals care about. Pool D, Canada putting themselves in the mix. Ireland in control, but Canada with just Chile to play the Invitational side. They've given themselves a great chance.